Hey everybody, big, big news on the horizon. Today is May 5th, 2023. A week from today, Friday, May 12th, 2023, PS Publishing in the UK is releasing their long anticipated special illustrated limited edition of Different Seasons. Now, Different Seasons to me is the most high profile and classic Stephen King title to have yet received no type of special edition. This will be the very first special edition of Different Seasons ever produced. And it is, it's looking like it's going to be a really cool item. So in this video, I am going to um, go on my computer, share my screen. We'll take a look at the PS Publishing website. Um, we'll take a look at some art that has been teased from the book by the amazing um, UK artist Eli John. And we'll, you know, we'll, we'll talk about all things different seasons. But first, some details. So the book is going to sell for £125. And of course, being in the UK, they list their prices in pounds. And depending on the exchange rate, um, year after year, they release a new book just about every year. And depending on the exchange rate, sometimes you make out a little bit better, sometimes you make out a little bit worse. But for me, who lives in the United States, that translates to $157.99. So different seasons will cost $157.99. Now that seems like a lot for a book, and I'm not going to say that it's not, but PS editions are um, pretty much universally good investments. Um, different, not different seasons, Needful Things was the last one. Um, I actually sold the copy that I purchased. It just it wasn't doing it for me, and I made a bit of money when I sold it. Um, Cujo from two years ago uh, is now selling for about $100 over what it cost to purchase um, just two years ago. So these are good investments, and they do sell out fast. Um, so we'll talk about that as well. So $157.99. Um, this year, PS sent an email out. They're, they've done several of these, several of these um, special editions over many years, and they've had um, customers who have purchased every one that they've done directly from them. So this year they sent out an email to those folks saying, if you're interested, send us an email, we'll set you one aside. Now I have no idea how many people that actually is. It's probably, probably not as many as you would think. I have a handful of the PS editions. I wasn't even aware of them when they started and not all the ones that I have have I purchased directly from them. So alas, I do not qualify to have them set me one aside as much as I would love that idea. So what normally happens with a boutique publisher and a Stephen King special edition is that there's a mad worldwide dash on this website, crashes the site, everybody um, has a frustrating experience, people gripe and complain, people who tried to get one and should have been able to lose out because of technical difficulties, what have you. I think PS has come up with a really classy solution to this issue. So they take the stock that they have and they divide it up into three ordering windows. So in the UK, I mean, their, their ordering windows work out well for the UK customers, but they work out especially well, I think, for the US customers. I don't know if they're gearing it toward the US market. I'm not complaining. But the ordering windows will be 4 p.m., 8 p.m., and midnight UK time. So depending on where you live in the United States, so... Um, The Eastern Time is five hours earlier. Central Standard Time, which is where I live, is six hours earlier. Mountain Time is seven hours, and Pacific is eight hours. So if you live in New York, 
um, your ordering windows will be 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 7 p.m. For me, Central Time, if you live in Chicago, um, which, which I do not, but if you live in the Central Time, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 6 p.m., if you live in Mountain Time, you're looking at um, 9 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m., and Pacific Standard Time, you are looking at um, 8, noon, and 2. So I love how they don't do it all at once. They don't, um, it parcels it out. It gives more people more opportunities. Um, it works out fine for folks in the UK. I think it works out even better for folks in the United States. Hey everybody, I was watching this back before posting it. Believe it or not, I actually do watch my videos for content and clarity before I post them. And I realized I had forgotten to mention something really important. 1,000 numbered copies, which will be signed by the contributors other than King. So the $158 book available next week will be limited to 1,000 numbered copies not signed by Stephen King. At some point in the future, there will be a lettered edition of 26 copies that will be signed by Stephen King, will not be available for public sale. It is They are only sold to subscribers, such as my friend and co-conspirator on this channel, Noah. So at some point, he'll be able to show that book. But the numbered is like the Everyman edition at 158 bucks. The lettered um, will probably be in the vicinity of $2,000, if not more. But for completion's sake, I did want to put this in there. 1,000 numbered copies available for sale, not signed by King, 26 lettered, are signed by King, not available for sale to the general public. Okay, onward and upward. Three opportunities to purchase next Friday, May 12th. Um, I, I guarantee you that it will sell out on May 12th, but you have three chances. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna do a video where I share my screen and let's take a look at um, some of the things we that have already been made available about different seasons. Okay, everybody. I left my headset at work, so I am reduced to old school USB handheld microphone like a game show host. But in some ways, that's probably even more appropriate for this video. I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to notice is that the website for PS Publishing is www.pspublishing.co.uk. So that takes you here. Um, you, you create an account when you make a purchase. So while I normally recommend creating an account ahead of time so that it saves you the time when it comes time to order the book, um, in this case, you cannot make an account ahead of time. I believe that is still the case. Um, but when the time comes, search for products. Let's see. Yeah, different seasons does not show up here. So when the time comes, when the first ordering window goes live, the way to... The way to find the link for different seasons is to get in here a couple of minutes ahead of time, make your search for different seasons. If you already have an account with PS, log in, make your search for different seasons, search, search, just kind of keep redoing the search. Um, it may not be at the exact second that the time switches over to the hour but probably pretty close thereafter. So for me, um, I'll be looking at whenever, 11 a.m.? No, 10 a.m. So next Friday at 10 a.m., 9.59-ish, I'll come to the PS Publishing website, and I'll just search for different seasons, and I'll search for it over and over. 
and 10, you know, 1001, somewhere around the at that time, it'll pop up. It'll show up on this page that you can click into it, go into the ordering page, add to cart, and then complete the checkout process as you normally would. Once I believe if previous years are an indication, once the first ordering window is, so once it's up, it's up. And when they have sold through their allotment for that window, the page for the book will still be up, but it will say out of stock. And then at the next window, it'll say add to cart. So if for me, if it's 2 p.m., and I'm going in at like 159 and I search different seasons. It should show up on the search page, open up the page for the book, and it'll say out of stock. And then when it says out of stock, you refresh the page, resend the data, whatever, over and over. And then at 2 p.m. or there, thereabouts, um, it won't say out of stock. It'll say add to cart. And then it's live again for the second window. And then the same way for the third window. So note the web address, pspublishing.co.uk. And let me see, I can't think of anything else. When you um, place your order, you may as well go ahead and make an account because PS will be doing additional Stephen King books in the years to come. I believe Firestarter is on their list and 112263, which is particularly exciting. All right. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. I'm going to get to a particular folder that has some artwork in it. And I'm going to start sharing my screen again. All right. Okay. So here's the first image. I believe this is going to be the cover image of the book. It would make sense if it was um, with this nice wraparound artwork. So title and author here, um, front flap, title on the spine, back cover, Stephen King sitting in a gloomy, darkened office with pages just flying off of his typewriter. I love that image. All right. And here's an image from Rita Hayworth and Shawshank Redemption. I'm just a really big fan of Eli John's artwork. Um, I think it, it's very distinctive and it captures something really cool about the stories. It's a few from Apt Pupil. There's Arthur Denker. I love how it's black and white except for his bloodshot eyes. That's a really cool feature. I'm sorry to admit, I don't remember the name of the young man off the top of my head, but I believe that this probably is him. Arthur Denker in his kitchen. It's bleak and desolate and perfectly fits the story. Oh, this, I mean, the body, probably most people's, um, one of most people's favorite, Stephen King fans' most favorite stories and, um, of course, adapted into a very famous movie called Stand By Me. But I love the colors, the green and then the pale orange here. This is like nostalgic and scary and ominous and foreboding all in one. And then the breathing method on a rainy night in New York City past this building there's one light glowing behind a window so what's going on in that room very ominous the breathing method is to me maybe the best story in the whole book and it does owe a lot to um, the novel ghost story by peter straub peter straub of course being a great friend of stephen king's so i'm sure he would have been very very familiar with ghost story he talked about it at length in um, dance macabre but anyway it's a piece from the breathing method and 
yeah, I'm just super duper looking forward to this artwork. Really excited for this book. The fact that it is what I've seen here is in color gives me great hope that it will be reproduced in color inside the book itself. And I mean, just lovely stuff. But anyway, I'm not for sure if that's all the artwork there will be. If there's, um, you know, the dust jacket and then a piece or two per story, but I'm not even kidding. Dead zone had a full color, um, artwork on the slipcase, different full color artwork on the dust jacket. Um, the boards had different artwork. The end papers had different artwork and there were like 30 additional full color pieces inside that book. So I'm anticipating different seasons is going to be stacked, but anyway, um, I think I've shared all the details that I have. If you haven't been able to tell so far, I am really freaking pumped for this book. I hope you are too. I hope this video has helped you um, understand what to expect, where to go, what to do, all of the above. I will put Eli's website in the description for the video, as well as the PS Publishing um, website link in the description for the video. So you'll have them both. I believe Eli will be doing additional prints, perhaps remarks. I'm not for sure. Um, remark is an additional original piece of artwork directly created into the book itself. I don't know if you'll be doing that or if you'll have prints or what have you, um, but it'll be worth keeping an eye on it, especially if you're a fan of different seasons. Um, but anyway, thanks a lot. Um, let me know in the comments if you're gonna, if you're planning to get this one, let me know if you've been looking forward to this as much as I have. And, uh, I will, I will talk to you later. All right. Bye.